Hello happy people, I'm back with another video. And today I wanted to show you all how to make some DIY press on nails. You all have really been loving my press on nail series on my channel. If you all haven't checked it out yet, I will leave it down in the description box below. But um, I show you all different ways of how to apply press on nails. And I thought it would be kind of cool to show you all how to make your own. So the first thing you want to do when you're doing your press on nails is you want to size out each of the nails to fit your actual nail bed. When I size out my nail tip, I just make sure that the full cover tip essentially goes from side to side to make sure it has a nice natural looking fit to the nail and so that's how I've sized out all of these nail tips right here if you get a tip that's too wide your nails will pop off if you get it too small it'll pop off so it really needs to go from side wall to side wall and then be nice and round at that cuticle area so yeah after you just have them all sized out um, typically um, I'll go in and this little tab that's here at the edge of the nail, I'll just go ahead and file that away. I'll do that for each nail. So next, you'll wanna buff the surface of the press-on nail. But me, I'm pretty lazy, so I normally just go in with a thin layer of base coat, and that's just gonna allow for better adhesion for the gel polish that you apply to stick to the full cover tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a base coat on all of the nails. I'm gonna be going in with my Madam Glam base coat. After you have the base coat applied to all the nails, you'll want to go in with your gel polish color of choice. I'm going in with a Madame Glam polish in Pivot, and I'm going to apply that to all the nails. And when applying gel polish to full cover tips, you actually want to start in the middle of the nail and then work your way down. That way the cuticle area or the free edge with the polish isn't too thick. Um, so I'll demonstrate that to you guys do all again instead of starting like at the tip of the nail like this or starting this way and going down you'll want to start in the middle of the nail and then just pull the product back and that's going to allow for that cuticle area to be nice and flat so I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process on all the nails After the polish has been applied to all the nails, then you want to go in with your nail art of choice. Today I actually wanted to test out these new pudding gels from Madame Glam. This is part of their new fall collection and these colors are really, really pretty for the season. And so I wanted to show you guys how to make some patch nails. So I did already do a practice nail and I love how it turned out. So I want to show you guys each of the colors first. So this is what the olive green looks like. And it's a really beautiful green. This is actually what that color looks like. Swatched, absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. These were one coat coverage, which I really enjoy. Next is the steel gray. And this is a really beautiful light gray color. I really like this a lot. And this is what it would look like swatched. Really gorgeous color. And then we have the steel blue. Oh, well that popped out. Well, at least this will let you know how much um, product you actually get. That's pretty interesting, okay? This is what the steel blue looks like, really pretty. And that's what it looks like swatched. And then we also have taupe beige. And this is what that color looks like. This is what it looks like swatched. So these are some really beautiful fall colors. Um, I do have a discount code with Madam Glam in case you guys are interested in checking out this collection. Um, my discount code is going to be on the screen and then I'm also going to leave it down in the description box below in case you guys want to check these products out. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop into the look. So you're going to need a couple of nail art brushes. I'm going to be going in with my nail art brush from Young Nails. And this is their liner brush. I have been using it. It has some black on it. You'll also need your micro detailer brush. And I'm using the one from Young Nails. And then you'll need some actual gel brushes. And I'm just going to be using some ones that I got from a Josh Love brush kit. So I'm going to be using the round brush as well as the square brush. Okay, so in order to create this design, I'm going to be using this little stand here. I found this to be pretty helpful, but I'm going to replicate this design right here. It's really actually simple and easy to do. I found it easiest to go in with this square brush here. And you'll want to just take a little bit of the pudding gel. And the consistency of these are really nice. They're nice and creamy. So you'll just kind of get a little bit of the pudding gel onto the brush. Like so. Okay. And then what you'll want to do is you want to start on the side of the nail and your goal is to kind of make a, a horizontal line. Sorry, 
to make a diagonal line from one side of the nail to the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kind of float the product a little bit first, okay? And then I'm gonna come to the edge of the, the nail and then apply light pressure and make a straight line going all the way across the side of the nail. And when I kind of have that outline like I want it, I'll go ahead and just fill it in, right? So because this is a straight brush, it'll be easy to get really close up to that line and just pull the product down like so. And with this design, it doesn't have to be perfect, which is one of the things I like about this design as well. And so you'll wanna just color that in like so. And then you'll cure this for 60 seconds. This is what two coats of the pudding gel looks like. I'm still learning the amount of pressure that I need to apply for the um, pudding gel to be um, straight, but um, once you apply top coat, it's gonna look like a nice even surface. Next, I'm gonna go in with the taupe beige. And I'm just gonna create a V with the taupe beige. So I'm gonna start here in the middle, like so, and then just bring the product on out. And I actually think I put too much of the product on the brush. I'm just gonna dab some of that off here, okay? I'm just gonna create that V line really quick, like so. And then bring it on down. That's perfect. Lovely, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that in place. Okay, so this is what the nails look like after two coats with the pudding gels. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Madame Glam Perfect Black. I'm gonna outline the patches that I just drew. And I'm just gonna start over here in the corner, like so. And then just work my way on around outlining that entire nail and as you all can see the Madame Glam gel polishes are really opaque which I really like so they're perfect for nail art as well as just using them as gel polishes so like so and once I'm happy with that line I'm going to go ahead and crisscross it and outline this side as well like so beautiful And now I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds. This is what that looks like after it's been cured. Next you wanna go in and with your liner brush, you wanna make thin little strokes to create the little patches. So I'm gonna start with the green patch first and I'll just go, so as I'll start here, and I'll just do one, two, three. Come over here, I'll do one, two, and then over here, I'll do one, two, three. And really nice, cute, simple nail art. So I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. Moving on to the next nail, I'm going to go in with this steel blue and do the exact same design that I did on the other nail. So what I'm learning is that with the pudding gel, it's kind of best to kind of lay it where you want it to be first, just to kind of get the bulk of it off. If that makes sense, like, because all the gel is going to be kind of pulling at the tip of the brush. So just kind of get some of it off first. And then you'll go through and make that line. So I'm going to go ahead and make the line now. And I found that doing it this way, it allows for my line to be flat and not kind of up off the nail. So yeah, that's just me learning how to work with these pudding gels here. So you'll go ahead and swipe down in really light motions. And you see how it looks like a, a smoother coverage or a smoother application so I'm going to go ahead and cure that and I'm going to go in with two coats of this so this is what two coats of coverage of the steel blue looks like now I'm going to go in with the cloud gray and I'm going to apply that to the other side of the nail and again uh, this might actually be too much product but I'm going to start um, kind of filling in filling it in a little bit first just to get some of that product off the tip of the brush like so okay and then from there I'm going to come Oops, and then from there, I'm gonna come here and just make that clean swipe. And again, that's gonna allow for the, the nail to not be too thick. That line of the nail to not be too thick. That's perfect. I'm going here for 60 seconds and I'm gonna do two coats of this. This is what the two coats look like. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my lines in now. 
Okay, happy people, as I am drawing in my patchwork, I just wanted to say thank you all again. We have hit 3,000 subscribers and I am beyond grateful for every last one of you. Big shout out to my happy family, all of my nail sisters, everybody who watch, comments, um, and just show love and support on my channel. I'm beyond grateful for you all. And so yeah, with that, as promised, I am going to be hosting a giveaway. You all know that I am obsessed with Amazon and finding really amazing deals on there. And so I thought it would be great to do a $50 Amazon gift card. Um, that way you all can go out and shop for whatever nail supplies um, you all might be needing in your collection. And so yes, in order to enter this giveaway um there's just a few simple steps all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel be following me on instagram um, follow me on tiktok if you have a tiktok and then include the hashtag ain't she cute though because y'all know i say that at the end of all of my sets you do those steps and you'll be entered into the giveaway so yeah thank you all once again and good luck to everybody who enters Alrighty, so this is what the nail is looking like so that is how the complete set looks I did go ahead and do the other nails off camera so now all you need to do is go in with a top coat I'm gonna to be going in with the Madame Glam top coat and I'm gonna apply that to all of the nails alrighty so this is what this set is looking like I'm absolutely loving how this turned out. I do have a full series on my channel that talks about different ways to apply your press-ons. I am just going to apply these with some glue dots just to take some quick photos. Um, but yeah, go ahead and check that out if you all want to see how to apply press-ons to get them to last long. Um, typically, I like to apply my press-ons with acrylic. I'll leave a link to a video here in the corner where I got my nails to last about two to three weeks um, applying my press-ons with acrylic. I thought it might be kind of cool to show you all how I actually apply my press-on nails for quick photos. And so, the first thing I do is I go through and I push back all my cuticles. I've already done that on all the nails, but yeah, you just want to go back and push back all of your cuticles. Next, I'm actually going to apply my cuticle oil first. And I do this because when I apply my cuticle oil afterwards, because I use glue dots when I do my quick photos, um, they tend to kind of make the nail pop right off, which, you know, I need it on at least long enough for me to get downstairs and like take some photos outside. And so yeah so that's how it looks now i'll take a lint-free wipe and some alcohol okay and then i'll just wipe down my nail bed and that's just to get rid of the oil that was on the nail bed but then still allowing my cuticles to look hydrated without me having to do that after the fact if that makes sense from there i will go in with my actual glue dots you guys so i just use glue dots when i'm doing like a quick photo op and so I'll take it and I'll just get the glue dot as close to the side walls and cuticle as possible, push down and then remove it, all right? And then I'll just go through and repeat that process on all of my nails. So get it close to the cuticle and side walls and then peel it off, close to the cuticles and side walls, peel it off. And I'll just keep repeating that until all the nails are done. And so then after that, I'll just take my actual nail and I'm gonna start with the thumb on this one. What I like to do is I like to slightly tuck it underneath the cuticle first and then press down on the nail. And that kind of allows for the most natural look. And so then that looks pretty nice and natural and flush to the cuticle, flush to the side walls, et cetera. So then I'll go through and repeat that process on all the nails. And when I do it this way, I feel that it looks kind of most natural. Well, as natural as can be without me actually applying them. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take some photos and I'll be right back. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how my little patch V French tip nails turned out. They are so cute. And I'm really loving this color scheme. It's like perfect for the fall time. I think this design is really nice, simple, and cute. And just in time for the fall, for those who are looking for a quick fall mani, 
that's um, simple and cute. You guys can always change up the colors. But I absolutely love how this set turned out. So yeah, y'all, let me know what y'all think about my Manny. In regards to these pudding gels, I actually really liked working with them. I think once I learned how to apply them properly with the brush, I'm used to just working with gel polishes and so these are of a different consistency for me. So once I learned how to actually work with them with applying light pressure, um, I found that they were really nice to work with and they're very, very, very opaque. So I am looking forward to getting more of these in my collection. I would like to get like some primary colors of this because I can see myself reaching for this when I go to do nail art. So yeah, y'all, I am loving my fall Manny. I hope you all are too okay happy people so i just finished filming my videos and photos for social media and if you guys are curious about what those photos look like i'm going to leave them here at the end of the video but yeah i want to show you all how i actually pop these off again i do use a leg warmer <laughs> for my photos and all i do is pop them off so this is how easy they come off um after i'm done taking my photos so using the alcohol helps it stay on just a little bit but for the most part they just pop right on off so yeah y'all and now you have your press-ons that you can use again and again and again i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.